So how good is your eight-year-old battery? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. In a recent newsletter, I mentioned that one of my old batteries like this Dakota had 90 something percent capacity still left in it. By the way, if you're not subscribed to that newsletter, there's a link down in the description below so you can get that once a week as well. But the question was, how exactly do I test and know that there's only 92% or 94% or 85% capacity left in a battery? And the answer lies in this piece of test gear right here. This is the MakerHawk electronic load tester. And this is the piece of kit that I'm using to test all of my lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now, it will do some additional testing. It looks like uh, USB-C and maybe uh, micro USB. I never actually use that board to test anything with USB. I only use that board to test my lithium iron phosphate batteries. Let's go ahead and jump over to the workbench and I'll show you how easy this thing is to use. All right, so let's take a minute to take a look at our test setup. We've got the battery tester right here in the middle. Let's cover a few things on it. The knobs that you see over here on this side is a coarse adjustment and a fine adjustment. We'll come back to that in just a minute. Of course, we have our uh, screen right here giving us all of our information. This right here is the battery input. So this is where you will connect the lithium iron phosphate battery that you're wanting to test. For this particular example today, we are using this Dakota Lithium. This is a 10 amp hour version of that Dakota battery. Now, you will also notice right back here, this is where the power adapter uh, that's coming, the wall board basically, is being plugged into this board. Now, let's take a look at the uh, screen itself. What you'll notice is I've already got some information on this screen from another test. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and clear that out. We do that by pressing and holding the black button right here until we hear that little beep. Once that little beep occurs, you'll see that our screen is back to zero. Now, for my batteries, especially the smaller ones like this little guy today, I like to test at 0.2 C. Since this is a 10 amp hour battery, that means we want to draw two amps off of this battery during the test. So we will do that. You'll watch right here what our current is. I'm going to start with the coarse knob right at the top and we'll start cranking that up until we get to close to uh, that two amp mark. So let's see, we'll come up just a little bit. You gotta be, these are pretty touchy. So you wanna go easy on them. That's a little bit too much. I'm gonna come down just a hair. I'm at 1.98, 1.97, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now we can use that fine knob and try to dial that in just a little bit closer. Now, it's pretty tough to get it exact. As long as you can get it 1.98 to uh, 2.02 in this case, then I'm typically happy with that. All we're doing is we're pulling current out of the battery, sending it through this board so that we can read it with the display, and then that energy is being dissipated as heat. So there's a heat sink on this, and then we've got the fan. So that's the way this board works. I've really enjoyed using this and gives me a really good idea of exactly what the capacity is of all of my batteries. All right, so after you have ran the complete test, you get all of your data right here on one screen. You can see the time that this test took was four hours and 32 minutes. Typically, it's right around five hours. However, notice right here the capacity is only at 9.2 amp hours. So out of a 10 amp hour battery, this particular battery happens to have 92% of its capacity left. So there you have it. That's how you use this board to test the capacity of your batteries and know exactly how much is left after a few years of use. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.